Hello, if you've seen my previous videos on growing potatoes in shopping bags you'll know what this is all about. Uh, but just in case you haven't, I'll bring you up to speed uh, with how we do this and why we do this uh, and then we'll do it. Okay, this is a 10 inch pot, it's got some holes in the bottom, okay, but we're going to line this with a shopping bag and this is the shopping bag we're going to use. I've already prepared um, four pots uh, prior to starting this video. Uh, now then, if we line this pot with this shopping bag, we blank the holes off, don't we? So we best put some holes in this shopping bag. And the best way to do it, I find, is with a pencil. Just crunch the bag up like this, make sure you don't stick yourself. Just pop the pencil right through the bag, like that. Okay. So now we've got some drainage holes in the bag. Right. What we do now is we line the pot with the bag. How easy was that? Okay. This is my homemade compost. You'll know what this is made up of. I've already posted videos on this. We put two inches of this in the bag, in the pot. And I think that's about four of these. Okay, let's just get it sorted out in there. That should give us about two inches in the bottom of that bag. Now then, if you're going to do this, it's no good doing it with just one seed potato. Molly, leave that compost alone. If you're going to do this, um, you need to do it with more than one seed potato. And the reason for that is that when this plant grows, we're going to lift it out of this pot using this shopping bag. So take the handles and we lift it out. Um, and then we're going to expose the root ball and we're going to take whatever potatoes are big enough to take then we're going to pop it back in the pot to grow on. Now, if I saw this one seed potato in this pot, when I take it out I'm expecting to maybe get two or three potatoes without disturbing the root ball. Well, two or three potatoes isn't big enough for a meal, is it? But if I can do it with five pots and get two or three potatoes out of five pots, I could get 10 to 15 potatoes. Now that's certainly enough for a meal. And we put them all back in the pot again. How good is that? These, by the way, are jazzy. And these are a store-bought potato. I believe these are an early potato, but I'm not 100% sure. Are you listening, Molly? Yeah, she is. She's paying attention. So we sit this on that two-inch of compost. And then we fill the pot. Okay. It fell up, fallen over. Sit it in like that and fill the pot. And it's as easy as that. Now what I'll do is um, I'll half fill these pots to start with because I'm not too sure I've made up enough compost here. As I've said, these, these bags have already got holes in. I've already hey, come out of there! I've already um, <laughs> Molly likes to eat my compost compost good enough to eat. Um, I've already put holes in these bags. I've already put two inch of compost in. All I need to do now is cover these guys over. And um, Molly! And I'll do that with all the pots. Uh, and then we'll fill them up. And then that's the job done. See they're all well chitted up. Jazzy. First early. Molly, she's got her head in this pot. I don't know if she's on camera or not, but she certainly likes the taste of this compost. I certainly hope she doesn't pull a potato out. <laughs> she will be in trouble. You'll be in trouble, Molly, if you pull a potato out of there. I'm warning you. All oh, right, we've already got some in there, haven't we? Look, we're losing. We're losing the. Uh, well, we're losing something. I'm not too sure what. Last one. Okay, so this video should be short and sweet. Don't forget, if you're doing this, you need five or six of these guys, I would think, so that um, you're going to expose them all together. You're going to take them all out together take a few potatoes off every plant and put every plant back in the pot. 
Um, it's a video on the channel, you've possibly seen it. If you haven't, have a look at it. It's only a few weeks back I put it on. Uh, it'll show you what's possible here if you don't think this is possible. Just a shopping bag, a few walls poked in, inside a 10 inch pot, filled with compost, one seed potato. In a month or two's time, we'll be lifting these out to check what we've got. And if there are any potatoes big enough, we'll take them. If they're too small, we'll leave them. Uh, we'll put the plant back in the pot to grow on. And as they say, jobs are good, isn't it Molly? Jobs are good. Okay, so that's us done. Five jazzy, one in each 10 inch pot, homemade compost, lined with shopping bags, balls poked in the bottom of the bags. Um, when these potatoes are big enough, when we think there might be something on them, we lift them out, we'll peel the bags back and we'll have a look. If there's any big enough, we'll take them. Uh, if there's any that are a bit too small, we'll leave them. We'll pop them back in the pots to grow on. So if you've only got a small space to work in, like I have, this might be for you. We're going to get more than one harvest of potatoes out of each of these pots, hopefully. Growing in a small space, in small pots, in shopping bags. Uh, you'll never take your potatoes early again. If we lift these out and all these potatoes are small, when we expose them, we'll go back in. The plant will still be alive, we won't have wasted it. And those potatoes will grow on and become big potatoes, and then we'll harvest them. How does that sound? Is that a deal? Are you going to give this a go? Okay, so this is homegrown veg, signing out. You go inside for a cup of tea, you come back out, your dog's eating your compost. Happy days.